levels to it because you've got your players like player four like hazmat like max that all do incredibly well in their bracket runs but yeah this is sponsored players by sponsored commentator by sanai uh, we're gonna see peach versus Krom here are you sure now, it's not sinai it might be it might be sinai. you're right like mount sinai yeah i think it's actually yeah no oh, i was right hey oh sinai that is so weird damn Stu. hey hey i'll take that out but yeah it, okay it is weird that. it is weird you would think mount sinai but I think this is actually going to be really tough for him. Not only do I think Blank is an incredible player, but Blank, with the experience with Samsora and the experience with Mutase in Florida, uh, both playing them as you know, as you know, competitive mindset as well, and in bracket, uh, this is going to be really hard for Peach to deal with. Plus, Peach Swords has not been a great matchup across the history of Smash. Yeah, however, Peach has so many options with which to work in this game. I mean, Peach has uh, gotten a veritable windfall. Of, uh, of moves with which to work. Oh, so yeah. many improved options. And that turn up going to be among them, going to try to outrange uh, that Krom in some fashion or another. But I mean, she's got a, she's got only a, but but her arm and a crown. Krom has a sword and it doesn't seem to matter a whole lot. Player four, drawing first blood in this first game. And this is loser's quarterfinal, so. Uh, yeah, no winner makes it out and the loser's going to be watching top 32. Indeed. Nice dash attack, good burst option there from uh, player four coming out of the corner, getting back to center too. Blink kind of fishing for these kill options here for Krom a little bit. It's the F tilt there, not enough to do it. Get out of oh. here. Still not dead though, wow. Player four, oh, now right it, before he grabbed ledge. Now he is. Beautiful stuff from Blank and and uh, sitting at only 30%, it seems like she's adjusted relatively well considering oh. the start of the match. Uh, what have you seen? Uh, what's, what shift have you noticed uh, with it? Well, you saw uh, Blink gimped a little bit early by the turnip, and I really feel that was really it. Like, these players kind of went hit for hit for the beginning of the first stock, and, you know, player four was just able to, you know, seal it a little bit better. Um, it's really interesting to see these two characters in kind of like on a paper standpoint, how the fact that they both have these incredibly early percent combo strings where you can take 50, 60 percent and not even really look, uh, think any differently of it. Reads the roll but doesn't get the grab, unfortunately. See that it turned up again. No gimp this time, though. Oh my, player four. Looking for the edge guard. Nice. You know what? A Peach Bomber, that'll do, says player four. He is more than okay with that. That neutral air going to send player four into dis disadvantage and another one as well. Wow, down smash. Get your punish where you can get him, I guess. But Peach is just notoriously hard to kill. Player four looking to take full advantage of that, but it only really matters, Broza, if you can accumulate additional damage. And right now, he can't get back to the stage. Nice, nice trade. Some go a little bit high there, try to catch his ankles, but Blank was ready for the trade. Going to air dodge off stage. Not too low, though. Peach will be go quite a ways. Oh. Neutral air and Dude, that up air goes so far, it's ridiculous. It reaches all the way around the head, so even as a landing option, it's incredibly strong. I mean, trading these uh, shielded down airs before they finally start connecting. Yeah, no, they are uh, just trying to feel each other out. And you're not seeing a whole lot of... Uh, I can't imagine that the hit rate is all that great for either of these two players. But uh, you gotta, sometimes you got to deal with that nickel and dime damage. But player four... Certainly wants a lot more than that. He's sitting at 114. We'll be looking for the kill right about now, and he will find it. Yeah, and this has been the kind of the case. Both players have been able to force the other two ledge and really just keep them there for a significant amount of time. Uh, player four just really closing out stocks early, you know, and that's made the difference. They really didn't see either player really assert themselves in this initial game, so we'll see how the rest of the set plays out. Uh, but it should be interesting to see. You know, uh, both these players incredibly strong in their own right with their own character. Absolutely right. So, Blank, I mean, she's, uh, it's not like she played a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. No. Player four just kind of uh, out outboxing her at the uh, at the last turn. As we go into game number two, it will be Town and City's destination. I did not see the select screen, so it's a, it's a surprise to me, at least. You know what? Sometimes you got to give yourself life's little surprises. M both Alan and I immediately turned to dunk on Stu when we pointed yeah, at the screen. Yeah, pointing at oh. the screen. Speaking of dunking on people, player four, talk about that zero to death. Vince Carter-esque. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. And this is twice now we've seen Blink go down into sighting games with first stock zero to death, too. 
See if this one goes a little oh, bit better. Goodbye. And another Goodbye. Good shield break. And there goes your stock. Oh no, poor oh. Mr. Saturn. That Mr. Saturn. I mean, a blank you monster. Oh, uh, blank. He walked right into it. He had his AirPods in. He didn't know. With no regard for Mr. Saturn life, like how could you? I. I <laughs> oh my. Oh god, I think I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset with myself, and I know Alan is too. Unbelievable. Oh my god, and what a momentum shift. Look at this now. Blank with a 80% lead after getting zero to death, ladies I mean, it, and gentlemen. It, it, the thing is that it was ostensibly an SD, but you know what? A zero to death <laughs> is a zero to death, nonetheless. But, oh my gosh, to follow that up with the shield break with the Mr. Saturn and then the fully charged neutral B. Beautiful stuff. And oh, just like big that, punish, we're, big at, punish. we're at about even and blank looking to make up for lost time here and is doing so in a uh, pretty dramatic fashion, gotta I can't, say. I can't wait to chat with her after this game. Oh, is he gonna get it? No, pulls back just at the last minute. But the suicide is an option right now. He can, she can go for the suicide upbeat. You're up a stock right now. There's no reason not to. You're sitting at 113. You can confirm into it off of a lot of moves. And while Krom may die first, that stock lead is important. May not even oh. need it though. Oh, and 80. 88% now, holy smokes, player four. Needs to be careful here. But he, uh, at the same time, I mean. Oh, just snatches, uh, oh my uh, god. Um, um, huh. Player four, Z dropped the Z dropped the turn up and Blink immediately air dodged into it, tried to get back to ledge and gets hold of it herself. Dead, goodbye, see you later. I swear to god, that's one of the most common setups you see from Krom, but is so hard to tech. Cause it's so fast and Krom is so quick behind it with that finisher there. Blank, holy smokes, man. She's really good, bro. Blank's really good. I would actually have been really surprised if she hadn't made top 32 in this tournament. Yeah, no, top, um, Blank on the cusp of top 32 yeah. at the expense of player four. However, this is the, this is gonna be the deciding game. I think she was seated like 21 or 22. You know, so I believe would be, it would be an upset. I was chatting with her beforehand. It's, it's somewhere in that, like that early 20s range. I see both of them just kind of goofing, kind of gooning a little bit. Oh, switching to Daisy, then, automatically was... losing at the CSS screen is player four. Unfortunate oh. loss here. Oh, <laughs> I mean, Broza, you speak so soon. Oh, the counter. Listen, the, the, the princess of the Salasahara Desert is not going to be able to pull it off against Krom. Is that where Daisy's from? Yes. Okay, I believe you. It's Lord. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it's Lord. Yeah, uh, she's the, I'm just, she's I'm the just princess of the desert right. kingdom. It's like some long S, but I think it's the Lasahara. I'll just say that you're right. Yeah. I do. Fair enough. <laughs> but still, strong start. This is more of game one than game two. Game two was kind of a uh, an LOL JK of one, but you know, really back and forth hits. Oh god, going out deep with that. Uh, no, the, wow. Excuse me, the umbrella there actually interrupting Crom's upbeat, but was not able to take advantage of it was player four. What the world was that? Blank is a... Did someone die? I'm not exactly sure, but either way, we're going oh, to... Oh, no, someone dropped the money in the bank brief because quick, grab it. Oh, my. He's going to cash in, folks. Running to cash in and on... Maybe uh, not the best time to cash in. I would wait till Grands. I, I, I'd say that you're right. Like, that's the that's the, the low-key, the Caval cash in rather than the, the edge cash in right there. No, you're not wrong, my man. It's like, yeah, I want to use my money in the bank contract on the U.S. title. Oh my, and that back air. Either way, it's gonna be uh, player four suffering the first stock loss. Blank has her eye on the gold. This is what actually can make this a little bit difficult just in the nuance of this new on this in this metagame, is the fact that Krom can really uh, cross up to Peach and Daisy pretty easily. And outside of like rising back air, which you have to kind of guess right on, it's really easy to get around to Peach's backside and kind of make it things difficult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. Forced into the up B, and you know, unless you go super low, that's gonna happen every time. There was really no other option, and player four, you know what? You sometimes you just gotta be there to take advantage, and he was. So, the grab, and oh god. So it's definitely tough for uh, Peach to negotiate stories. That much we know. But at the same time, player four, making this look uh, a lot closer. Then maybe it should be on paper. What is player four doing so effectively to keep blank off balance? Well, some of these stocks have been at earlier percents, uh, and that's really going to be the, the simplest answer there is like, oh, you kill early, you win well. Uh, but for the most part, you're seeing pretty standard Peach combos, or Daisy combos, excuse me, uh, in this matchup. Not really seeing too much of a concern about that. 
Oh, there's going to be a big punish off of the down smash. Just the back air, though. But it, she, he, Player 4 has been able to navigate. Or, oh, God. Please stop doing that. Okay, oh, thank my. you. But, like, don't lose this to that. Player 4 pumping himself up. Taking a moment, composing himself. Blank is one stock away from entering top 32 on loser's side. And you know Player 4 doesn't want to go down either. Because, like, what's worse than getting that one point outside of pools, you know? It's like, oh, I got 33rd, but... I didn't make it out. But wow, already a full stock lead now for Blank. And you got to think about it from this perspective as well. The fact that player four, I mean, it was a it was a big mistake that allowed him into game number two. But then maybe, wow. oh my, the back air. And Blank will just move on the two stock spacing. victory. Pristine spacing from Blank. Really just solid final stock there. You know, never gave him any quarter really any kind of ability to move in and potentially make it uh, in his favor. and Suffocating. Yeah, just really, really strong showing there from Blank at the end.